establishment? Is the food stamps, uh, is the system, can't have men in the house? I mean, this has been a systematic program. For those that don't know, Reverend, break down, because you do a great job in the film, Runaway Slave, break down how they have brought blacks back onto the sharecropping system, uh, because you do a great job on that on the film, and uh, what the numbers are, the illegitimacy, the drop in income, the, the incarceration, all of it. 72% of black babies are born outside of wedlock. Those are the ones who are born. But this is a more grabbing statistic for you. Take into consider, and I don't care what your politics is on this particular subject that I'm about to, to mention, but just look at these numbers. You have 43% of all abortions performed in this country performed on black babies. We're only 12% of the population. In the state of New York in 2008, more black babies were aborted than born. Now, it doesn't matter what your politics is on that again. Those numbers, though, are very troubling when you talk about just 7% of the population. When we talk about how to get them further enslaved, this is what the government has found, and this is what they use Barack Obama to do. They have found that the slave or the person that they want to bring into shackles. He doesn't necessarily want freedom. What he wants is comfort, more food on the table, a, a more comfortable floor to lay on, uh, those types of things. He doesn't necessarily want freedom. He wants comfort. And so we'll give him a cell phone. We'll make him think that he's going to get free health care. We'll make him think that we're going to make his life better with words. But all uh, the time taking those things away from him, making him codependent. There's a sick relationship that black people have developed not only with government, but with money. And I got to tell you this, Alex, back when I was growing up, before integration, before 1968 here in Louisiana, before it all began to happen, there was a thriving black business community. You had all types of businesses that were black owned. Why? Because we had to rely on ourselves. Now, not the segregation was good, but that which does not kill you only makes you stronger. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. And of course, uh, we wanted to progress uh, from the point where it was black only or white only. Of course we did. But this is one thing that we must know. We were a better people in every way, morally, we were a better people as far as family values were concerned when we were segregated than we are now that we can go anywhere we want to go and do anything we want to do. Why? Because we were not codependent upon somebody giving us some type of handout. Sure, the we analogy I use is like if you, they don't think they can send humans to Mars, so they develop some type of anti-grav. Because your heart falls apart, your bones turn to jello, you turn weak. And it's not that the oppression was good, but but it was better than a nanny state because at least the oppression made you have cultural muscles to know who you were and to be independent and strong, which is the case in any you know, part of history or any culture. Now it's this creeping death nanny state, which is totally destructive. Even in our school systems then, when the schools were segregated, and Lord knows, I don't want anyone to get me wrong. I'm not saying that that the, the field was level back then. It was not. Sure, they just it traded one evil level. for another. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And but but this is what I knew about that black teacher in, in the in the schoolroom when I was in a segregated school. I knew that that she wanted me to excel. She wanted me to achieve. She wanted me to be the hope of the future. And once that went away. That type of infusement into my, my personal character also went away. Exactly. Going under real oppression made people work harder, you know, to be able to be strong and resist. But then the new system makes you think you've won. Here's your government paycheck and the society degenerates. That is the nanny state. That is Cloward and Piven. That is collectivism. That is communism. That is slavery. That is dehumanization. And look at the facts. It is.
It absolutely is. And that is also the hardest thing to get black folks to understand. And when you look at affirmative action, it was Richard Nixon who actually put that into into play. When you look at uh, Martin Luther King Day, it was Ronald Reagan who gave us Martin Luther King Day. Uh, You know, all the major achievements that have been won for black folks over the years have actually come from the Republican Party. But somehow the Democrats have hijacked what has happened to us historically. I tell you, and Barack Obama has been the secret weapon. He, he just, it's unbelievable what he gets away with. It is unbelievable, but he was a grand deception. Uh, you know, I say this sometimes and people look at me like I'm out of my mind, but the, the fact of the matter is, Al Sharpton would have made a better president than this guy did, because at least we know where Al's coming from. Most folks don't understand the global world view that Obama has of, of, of America and its, its role in the world. I think Al or Jesse would have been a better president, even though I would not have voted for either one. Well, they're definitely I more American than Obama. I mean, Obama is like a synthetic manufactured you know, he just is, uh, I want to talk about Obama with you in the final segment. RevCLBryant.net. Dot com. Dot, dot com. com. Okay, I've been giving the net out. That's what they told me here. We'll uh, I'll get that right website out then right now for folks. Attention gun owners. It's reasonable to assume that at some point you may need to defend your family from an armed attack. But is it reasonable to mount a defense without a strong offense? Infidel body armor goes on in seconds. Is civilian legal in all 50 states? Is 100% made in the USA? Is veteran owned and ships next business day for free? Go to infidelbodyarmor.com. I-N-F-I-D-E-L bodyarmor.com. Infidel body armor just won't quit. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call one 800 686 it's that time of year again, and you know what that means. Cold and flu season. <coughs> but don't worry. HerbalHealer.com has you and your loved ones covered with our safe and natural products. Cold and flu fighters like beta-glucans, olive leaf antiviral capsules, grapefruit seed extract, HHA 4-herb capsules, elderberry power, and respirate. And don't forget about oregacillin for the lungs, normally $34.95, on sale now for only $25. Vitamin D3, 120-count soft gels, only $9. Whole body and homeopathic detoxes for the lungs, kidneys, liver, lymph, and brain, normally $26.95, now just $20. HerbalHealer.com also offers correspondence courses to teach you how to handle your health naturally. And as always, new customers get a free 128-page catalog with your order. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click the winter specials button to save on our natural cold and flu fighting products. Herbalhealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time since 1988. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. The Genesis Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show Because there's a war on for your mind Folks, the Reverend's going to leave us here in about five minutes I'm going to do a little bit of overdrive and talk about the Russia situation And some breaking NSA news um, I thought I was going crazy Because I'm looking at RevCCBryant.net but, but 
com redirects there, so it's the same website, but com. It's a great website, great information. Uh, you can follow him at uh, Twitter at Rev C L B Bryant, and follow us at Real Alex Jones. Uh, but look, man, I just want freedom. And, and the older I get, especially, I realize what goes around comes around. I want everybody to prosper. I want everybody to be happy. Uh, and, you know, I, I go off the character of what people stand for. And, I mean, if somebody's got beautiful music they make, I don't care what color they are. I'm a fan of them. If somebody's a great painter, I don't care what color they are. I'm a great fan. If somebody can carve great cabinets for my house, I don't care what color they are. If somebody's trustworthy, I don't care what color they are. And the system is so corrupt, it wants to make it all about color instead of about deeds. Just like they want a collectivist system not based on free will, free association. And it's so frustrating to see this that a lot of white folks voted for Obama to get him elected. And I, I, I didn't think he'd be good, but I thought, well, at least maybe I was so naive. Maybe it'll create more unity. Boy, I was stupid. And I don't usually make mistakes. And I wasn't a supporter of Obama. I just, I said, well, maybe at least this will. No, no, they don't want to bury any of this stuff. They want to make it worse. They want to keep it going. And it really has made me from just being someone who didn't like the Democrats to really realizing they are really a group of nasty scum. And at the top, not, not, not your run-of-the-mill Democrat, and they've got to be dealt with. How do we defeat Obama, and, and, and how do we take over the Republican Party and make them actually stand for good stuff instead of playing ball with the system? Because there's not going to be a country down the road if we don't turn this around, Reverend. I'm going to need people like you on the trail with me uh, this summer and into uh, the early fall. We have what's called the Content of Character Tour that we'll be doing about five of them on college campuses across the country uh, here in the coming uh, months and weeks. And what we're telling young people, we're going to have to recapture the hearts and minds of young people with the truth. Uh, we're going to be telling young people that any fool can take off the table what someone else is placed on the table. But it takes the content of character to contribute to the betterment of your society. And I think our young people are very well uh, prepared right now to receive that message because they understand that, yes, we want to help people. But young people don't necessarily want to support other, other folks. We want to help them, but they don't want them you to ride their back. And right now, young people are beginning to awaken. And I think it's going to take people like yourself, myself, and others like us, like minds, uh, to, in fact, uh, carry this message. As you may know, I am a fellow with Freedom Works and um, uh, very libertarian leaning, uh, but also we are, are working uh, in order to perhaps revamp the Republican Party. And uh, I like the word that you use, takeover. We're going to have to take it over and we're going to have to revamp it and make it into something that uh, they may go kicking and screaming to become. But if we are to win in this war, we're going to have to do something different than we've been doing. I agree. And look, folks, if you want to still be a Democrat, take over your party. It's just, it's, we've got, I mean, you watch MSNBC, it's like a Twilight Zone episode. I mean, the lies, the division, it, it's like, listen to a Klan rally, but for minorities. And it's just disgusting. Reverend Brian, thank you so much. And you've just made great contributions towards human liberty. God bless you. We appreciate you. God bless you, Alex. Thank you. Wow. Amazing film, folks. And we don't even sell it. You need to get it. Uh, speaking of selling stuff, we, we again, we sell fund uh, out there. And we sell a lot of great products. I try to bring you whatever the best is. Uh, Pro-liberty apparel, Tea Party type, uh, Patriot apparel, Libertarian apparel, Made in America, the Lamola and Labe shirts. Uh, we got the War on Men issue of the magazine that I think is one of the best ever to help wake men up to what's happening in women. Uh, we've got the great, uh, my favorite blend of coffee up there, Wake Up America blend, InfoWarsStore.com. And you can always become a PrisonPlanet.tv member to see the nightly news. We're going to come back to some overdrive for uh, internet. Stay with us. This is Key Intel coming up. Infowars.com forward slash show to find the free feeds. Visit GCNlive.com today. Hi, folks. Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. 
deciding to take action. A company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash 